Welcome everyone to the Tuesday afternoon team call. I just got an off an, of an amazing call with Laura talking about her goals, what she wants to accomplish. And I just want to shout her out for being an incredible leader on this team uh, and an example. She's working closely with one of her building coaches and she has a strong goal of leading a diamond team, but not only that, going beyond that. I also want to shout her out because last week's topic about the road to elite and the tracker for the road to elite was all based off of Laura asking me questions and talking about it. So um, I'm just grateful for that leadership for her um, when she has questions, when she wants to learn something for being willing to go out and figure it out and to ask questions um, because that helped other people on this team learn as well. So thank you, Laura. Also, uh, shout out to everyone that's here on live. I know it's difficult, especially in the summer months. Um, people are out with their families more. Uh, you don't want to be inside on a laptop or a phone. You want to be out with the family. Uh, and we respect that as well. So that's why we record each of these team calls. Um, I can't believe how close Summit is. It's literally like, it's like less than three weeks away until we fly out. I didn't even realize we're that far. I didn't even know 4th of July was like... Less, less than a week. I was chatting with my wife about some plans this week. My parents are going camping tomorrow and invited us. And, and then I was realizing it's like 4th of July weekend. My friend that I'm going camping with the weekend after 4th of July, he's like, I'm flying in on Friday. I'm like, wait, why are you flying in on Friday? I thought you're coming in July and we're going camping. And so that's where I'm at in my mind. I did not know that we're already at 4th of July weekend and uh, right on the edge of Summit. So uh, I'm super excited about that. It's not too late to come to Summit, um, but I do understand if you can't make it to Summit, you can't make it to Summit. Um, my ex first experience with Summit to help you guys understand, um, because I'm the dinosaur of uh, Beachbody in this group, um, I started in April of 2011, just fired up about my goals, about bringing my wife home from work, about that opportunity and that new hope that I had for a life different than that what we had. And that wasn't some big, huge dream at that time. It was, I was so excited uh, to be able to make enough extra income, which was only ten to $12,000 extra a month that my wife could come home from work. And it was my big dream at the time to be able to get off my 12 hour shift at five o'clock PM, work five to five, and then sit down with my wife and two daughters and uh, three daughters uh, when I actually became a coach and be able to eat dinner together and play sports together and do all that fun stuff. And so that's where that dream started and where that goal started. So that's a reminder um, for each of you guys to, to know what that is, know what you're working towards, what's important to you. But I remember uh, that was in April, right out of the gate, just working hard, hitting success club uh, 10, which was my goal, hit it in April, uh, hit it in May, hit it in April, May, and then June was summit in Las Vegas. And I'm only 10 hours from Vegas. And I'm like, my coach is telling me about Summit. I'm like, I'm going to Summit. I'm going to drive to Summit. I don't know where I'm going to stay, but I was, I had a, we had a, a Honda Civic, like a rebuilt title Honda Civic and my wife's Honda Pilot. And I'm like, I'm a driver pilot down there with my sleeping bag. And I'm going to sleep in the back of the, like I was, whatever it will take, I will get there. I'm going to sleep in the back of the pilot and I'll go to Summit. Well, I asked my boss if I could go to Summit. And I was reminded of this, by the way, Laura, after our conversation, and I asked my boss if I could go and I had no more paid time off uh, because of the birth of Ellie, my third daughter. I'd taken off all my paid time off. We went out, we'd have gone on a cruise and then my daughter was born and he's like, you don't have any more paid time off. You can't go. And anytime when something like that in life happens, you have the choice. This is with anything to make an empowering belief or thought or a disempowering belief or thought. So I could be like, oh man, this sucks. I can't go to summit. Uh, it's going to be harder to build my business or whatever. I'm not going to be with the team, right? Disempowering thoughts, or you can have an empowering thought. And my empowering thought in that moment was like, I'm going next year. And I just threw out a number. I said, I'm going next year and I'm bringing 50 people with me. I'm going next year and I'm bringing 50 people with me to coach summit. Well, we worked our butts off. As you guys know, the story, Gabby and I both left our full-time jobs. I got asked to speak at summit and I don't think I've shared this with you guys, but I brought 53 coaches from our team to summit and at my very first summit, which was the next year. So I could have easily, and you guys in any part of your business, I could have been like, Oh, I can't go to summit maybe next year. I'll work hard and I'll get to that place where I can go to summit and I can find the magic sauce 
and then I can build a business. But no, I made a decision like I'm going. And it's crazy when you make a decision about anything in your life, any goal that you have, how things come together when you believe in that vision and that goal and you get clear on it. Because I remember we did a little get together locally. About 35 of those coaches came from my hometown and a lot of them carpooled together down to Las Vegas. But I remember like... And it wasn't that we were trying, like, we got to get these 50 people there. We were doing a a barbecue. About 30 people were there. Lindsay had come out for a team retreat with Billy uh, for my diamond coaches. We rented a cabin. And so we did a get together for all the coaches in our, in our local area. And I remember we're sitting around and one of the girls was just frustrated that she wanted to come to summit with us in a couple of weeks, but she didn't have the financial means to make it there. And it was absolutely incredible to see the 50 some coaches at that barbecue all come together and be like, I'll pitch in 20 bucks. Like I'll pitch in 50 bucks. And they bought her summit ticket at that barbecue with pitching their, their money together. And then obviously someone offered her a ride because they were carpooling down to Las Vegas and someone offered her a spot in one of their rooms. So it was really cool uh, to see that happen and that teamwork happen. So that's what I really love about the Dynasty Strong team and about what, hap- what happens and what will happen when each one of you guys get clarity about what you want to accomplish. So enough of me talking about that. Um, I just wanted to share what was on my mind with you guys as we get started. So today, uh, the topic really is, you know, obviously, as you guys know, from the national wake up call yesterday and the coach breaking news and your email blasts from Beachbody that lift more is officially available. So I'm excited about this program. However, and I think this is really applies uh, to anything in this business. I still am not hundred percent ready to lift weights. Like I'm done with physical therapy, but I'm waiting to get scheduled for um, PRP injections in my shoulder and my bicep, which after that's done, I'll need to wait like six to eight weeks without doing literally anything. But what I want to share with you guys is you can still be excited about something, even though you can't be 100% on board with it. So I'm excited about it. Um, I remember when we launched Lift 4, it was one of the biggest launches that I had ever had in my business. I've been a coach for 11 years. Um, That was the month that I've had my highest success club points ever. I brought more people on. But what, what was really cool is that that trend happened for months after that launch because my clients absolutely love that program and absolutely got great results with that program with Joel Freeman, with the lifting. And so the launch was great, but we started to share the results of our clients and our coaches. And that created more momentum where their friends wanted to join in. So many of them became coaches and started sharing with their friends. Um, It also helped, you know, let's say my friend Garrett had great results, but Garrett doesn't want to be a coach. Garrett, well, Garrett's friends saw that he was looking more ripped and, and losing weight too. So Garrett's friends then became my clients as well. So the, a lot of momentum can be created around this uh, to help push you through this, the entire rest of this year and on to some exciting things that Carl Deichler is going to roll out, um, starting at summit into leadership in the fall and then officially in 2023. So I know Matthew is like, I like clarity on these types of things as Carl, (laughs) uh, as I shared the post from Carl, but Carl is great at creating FOMO uh, about things that are about to come, uh, come to place. And really from what I understand, it's not going to be a new product launch. You know, a lot of times we, we wait for the launch of strawberry lemonade energize that just came out or lift more to create momentum excitement. And, And it does that for a little bit, but this is something he's been working on for a while now um, uh, to help create uh, the ability to duplicate what we do and simplify what we, what we do. So I'm super excited about that. So I'm going to share with you guys what I do when I am um, doing a launch program. And what I want you guys to know about my personality, I'm not the best at planning. I'll, I'll let you guys know that up front. I don't have a note up right now with bullet points of what I'm going to talk about on this call. Like I have a tab up with some things, but that's literally it. So I'm just going to share from my experience what I do. And, you know, some coaches have prepared for this launch for six weeks. They've written blog posts. They have an email form ready and collecting emails about the interest of the program since the moment that it was announced, right? I'm not that person. So what I want you guys to know is you don't have to be super organized. Um, You don't have to be super um, diligent and, and be prepared ahead of time. Now, the, 
I will say that the more that you do that, the more success you will have at a launch. Okay. Um, but, but I'm sharing from my experience, you can, it's never too late to launch a program. Uh, even if you don't get on board with this for another month, and then you work the next 30 days and get prepared, you can launch lift more in 30 days. It doesn't have to be on the specific date that Beachbody does that. So some of the things, uh, just to take notes of, of what I do when I, when I create a launch, um, I have a blog. Uh, now you don't have to have a blog. You can use your social media, your Facebook, your Instagram as a blog in a sort of way, uh, creating albums or just your daily post, um, documenting about your life or about something that's going to happen. But I, I like to use a blog and my blog initially started out as a free one, okay? Um, I, I started on blogspot.com. There's a ton of free blog blogging um, platforms that you could use um, or uh, inexpensive websites like Wix. Um, I personally have a WordPress blog. You can do a free WordPress blog. Uh, when it's a free one, it just means it will say like uh, Laura, Laura's healthy life style at blogspot at, at um, whatever it is, blogspot.com or at, um, whatever, whatever platform that you're using. Um, it costs money if you want to get like a URL or, or something like that. So it doesn't, you don't have to spend money is what I'm saying to start a blog or to start something like this. Um, one of the reasons I love using a blog and Janelle Summers on the wake up call, if you didn't listen to her, please go back and listen to what she shared. Um, she shared something that I learned from her sister as well. If you don't have an email list or a list of your clients, you don't have a business. And I don't say this to scare anyone. I heard that from her back in like 2013, but she's basically laid out the scenario. Like at the time I built my like page to like 25,000 people on face. I didn't have Instagram yet. I had my like page and my personal page and I had YouTube and she just basically just came out and what, what if what happened to my space happens to Facebook and it's gone? Like your business is gone. You don't have anything. So she began to teach us the importance of building a list. So um, that's two parts right here. We're talking about a blog, like a free blog and a list. If you're in this for the long run, I would definitely get it on your radar or goal to start those things. Um, the reason I love a blog, I'm going to share with you guys why. Um, a blog is basically a, we a website or a blog is like housed on Google on, on a platform where someone could search. So I believe it gives higher quality leads than, for example, Instagram or Facebook might give. Um, the meaning reason behind what I'm saying there is like when someone goes on Instagram typically or Facebook, typically it's starting to transform and change, but they'll go there to scroll, to pass time. They're not there with any purpose or intent, maybe for some humor, um, but for the most part, they're just there to wait to, to burn time. When someone goes to Google, they're likely searching for a specific answer, right? So when I'm, when I'm using my blog, I'm writing blog posts or sharing content, directing it towards somebody that's Googling an answer, whether that's looking for the top male Beachbody coach or looking for the best team in Beachbody in 2022, or whether it's someone looking for a 20 minute workout, lifting workout from home, right? So I'm using a blog for that purpose um, in, in that intent. Um, when I'm using, when I'm, that, so, so that's one thing that I do. So uh, to give you guys an idea for the launch of Lift 4, one of the things, or Lift More, one of the things that I did is I created a blog post that's super simple that is that houses the embedded video of the sample workout. So you the, the sample workout is on Vimeo by Team Beachbody on the Team Beachbody Vimeo website. You can get the embed code and you can embed it into a blog. So when I'm, when someone, as I'm doing invites this week, I'm, I'm chatting, doing my follow-ups. I'd be like, hey, Raven, do you want to do, do you want to try out a sample of a new lifting program that I have? And Raven says, yes. Instead of just sending the Vimeo link from Beachbody, Team Beachbody's Vimeo, I'm sending a blog or a landing page, a blog with that video in it. And it has a capture form. Put your email, first name, last name to be a part of it if you want info on the test group. Does that make sense? And I'll show it to you. But does that make sense how I'm at the same time, I'm, you could just send the link 
or you could send the link and also capture their email uh, so you can do proper follow-ups with them and find out some, some info on them. And I'll share that with you guys on what exactly I did. The cool thing is, guys, you don't have to create a blog to do exactly what I just shared, right? I, I believe you should have on your radar, create a blog, create a website. I mean, as I'm working on building a home, like I want to see Instagram posts of the homes that they built. And I want to see blog posts with homes that people have built, testimonials of the uh, from their clients. And so I'm looking at both of those things when I'm doing that. But um, so, so I believe you should do that. But you can create a sort of landing page or blog to capture emails um, without without a blog. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. I posted some of the info, some of that stuff in the team page. And I'm just going to walk you through it. And if you guys have questions as we do it, please just ask me. I'm going into the Dynasty Strong team page. Let me know if you can see it right here. A thumbs up from anybody. Okay. So many of the, oh man, I got someone waiting in the waiting room. My bad. Okay. I got them in. So many of the people that were in the test group for Lift More, they have um, what they did something pretty cool for us. This is just a tool to help with the launch as well. They created these cool images. They're before after pictures, but they also told a little story with it. So I want you to make sure you go into the Dynasty Strong team page and you download each of these images because these are created. Um, so you can put them in your Instagram stories to share a little about um, that. Um, the cool thing is the thing I'm gonna teach you guys how to do to create some sort of link to capture their interest in their email is on your Instagram, you can create, there's a little, you know where you click to, to add captions or click to add, add a little um, uh, emoji or something. There's also one for a link on your Instagram. I don't have my phone. My daughter's working for me on my phone right now. But on your Instagram, if you create a story, like you can push the little button and you can add like, I always put like read, you can put like a, a poll, you can put like a little, um, a cool little like, isn't Laura's transformation awesome? And they could put a little fire emoji across, like rate it and whatnot. Um, so you can do all that stuff, but there's one that is uh, for a link. And you can put the link and then you put the URL of that link and then it goes on the story. So you could put a story like this of Laura on your Instagram. And then you could put, uh, click the link uh, to apply for the test group or whatever, or click the link to try the sample workout. And then you use that link button put the link in and I'm gonna show you guys on this call how to make that link. And then they can click that link, they can go, they can watch the sample workout, they can do the sample workout, they can put their name, email and answer a few questions and then you will gather that, um, their name and email and whatnot uh, inside of that. So, okay, Laura says she would love to look like her. I like that. Laura, you are awesome just like you are. Um, okay, so, so that's these tools. I want you to download. I want you to download these images. These are just some of them. Okay. And then the next thing that we're going to do is there's going to be more sharing tools. Um, this is where you can find them. If you go to your coach online office and log in right now, this pops up like this literally pops up in front of your entire screen before you can see um, anything in your page. Like, like this is my online office. You can see all that stuff right here is a product toolkit available. It also, they, they mentioned on the national wake up call, but there'll be um, more training in the Beachbody champions page as well. Tells you the exact dates of a person of a coach in a um, preferred customer launch on July 19th, customer launch, August 2nd. Um, you can just click on that and it will show you where to go from there. So <clears throat> that you can find that inside of your coach breaking news. There's some stuff right here, here, like here's a link to the sample and so forth, okay? So those tools are in your coach online office and in the Beachbody Champions page. Okay, now back to the Dynasty, <coughs> sorry about that. Back to the Dynasty Strong Team page. Uh, in the same post where these images are, I put two links in here. <clears throat> so I want you to go click those links and save them in a note, for example. So, um, I'm going to show you what these are. These are so cool. Um, first one we're going to look at is someone created this Canva. You can create a free Canva account. I don't pay uh, for Canva. That's what I make my PV charge 
success club charts, new coach rank event, like rank advancement charts and all that stuff. Well, someone created <clears throat> this awesome Canva uh, outline for us for, for you to share with a prospective client what Lift More is. So this is just a tool that you guys could use. So if you do this, you just click on this, it'll open up Canva. You might have to create a, a free Canva link or account if you don't have one. But basically they made, it's basically like a blog post that you could send somebody that shows exactly what Lift More is. So you can see right here, it just walks through what the program, so you could send, you could use this and share this link to a friend, make your own, like when I open this, it, it, you could see up here by Try Canva Pro, it says copy of Lift More. This created my own, it like automatically copied this into my Canva account. So it's not no longer the person that shared it with you. Like the link that you click doesn't go to anybody else, it goes to you. It creates this for you instantly like that. Like right when I click that link, this is now in my Canva account. Like I'll show you, it's pretty cool if you never use Canva. So if I go back home like this on my Canva, you're gonna, and I go to my projects, you can see like my Emerald coach things. And you can see right here, I have my own little page, right? I have my own little document here of this Lift More um, launch info, okay? So you can go through this later. I'm not gonna walk you through it, <clears throat> but they have, Given you the ability to come here and edit this, you'll, you'll want to go through and edit it. Um, like right here, you can add, edit this and change the link to go to the link that you might create. It goes through and shares all of the packages. It shares like what comes in the packages. There's the one with the first thing, our new product. There's one with Shakeology. There's one with Energize and Recover. It says everything that comes inside of it. There's another place here for them to um, like click their link. Like you go to link right here and you can put your link after you make one. That's the next thing I'm going to show you guys is how to make that link. So just go edit any of the things that are like, click here, save your spot and put your own link, uh, to your landing page or to collect emails. But this tool is here, save your spot. Remember to use that. There's things that explain like add-ons, like what energize is recover is what last thing is another save your spot. So when you're using this, make sure you come in here click that and change the link to yours. It even has a space here to put your beautiful picture, Laura, what you get with me as your coach. You can edit this, add what, what you are, like anything about you or what, what you do as a coach for people. And then once again, um, it shows like two group options, the July 19th option, August 2nd option. If you're late getting this stuff together, you create your own dates. There could be the August 15th, group. There could be the September 1st group, whatever it is, right? <clears throat> There's uh, these go to samples on the Beachbody page, by the way, if they're not ready to do lift more yet. So that's a tool that's already been created by another coach on the team for you guys to use. Is that awesome or what? You, Laura, go ahead and unmute and ask. Um, scroll back down to the bottom with those <clears throat> additional workouts. Yes. Do we have to go also populate our own link there because will that open up to the coach so let's look at, i haven't edited mine yet on this no this just goes to the team beach body vimeo so it just goes to the sample but, workout of lift four but click on it and see if it doesn't like open up to go to link see, see if it okay Okay, good. So it goes to Cause team you know, buddies via. Because you know when you send it through your back office, it has yeah. it opens up to to your. Yeah, so office. that would actually be a smarter thing to do. Is if you if you go to the sample workout in your own Team Beachbody website, Beachbody on Demand, there's this little trick. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Can you guys see my notes, or do you see the screen still? We just see the, the Canva same screen. Canva. Okay, let me change the the share real quick. Um, give me one second. Might have to get out of this Canva. Yeah. I have to go stop share real quick. So this is a cool another another little trick. I have a training on this about on YouTube, by the way, on how to oh, create good. some links. Um, let me find my note. Okay, here's my note. Okay, now you can see my note. So I have uh, just some 
on my notes, I have just some sign up link. Like here's Gabby's coach online, like for a coach sign up. This is the link that you create with like a coach link generator, um, which, which you can have. Um, you put your coach ID, there's trainings on how to use that coach link generator. But if you just take this last part, this is a little secret, a little trick. If you take this last thing right here, the question mark referring rep ID equals and your coach ID number. Like I could just copy this to you guys right now in the chat. Th that number right there are, are that, if you add that to the back of any link when you're navigating Team Beachbody or Beachbody On Demand, if you just add that to the back, back end with your own coach ID number. So if it was my coach ID, I'd put 50796. If you do that, I'm going to stop the share. If you do that and they click on that link, it will connect to your website. So, so Michael, let's say you're not, you're just a prospect and I send you the sample workout from Beachbody On Demand, right? I'm going to do it. I'm, we're going to do this right now. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. Okay. I'm going to share screen again. I'm going to go to my Safari. I'm going to go to, um, bot. I'm going to go to Beachbody On Demand. Let's just say I'm navigating Beachbody On Demand. Okay. I come in here. I go to the Lift More coming soon. And I come down here and there's a sample workout. Okay. I click on the sample. Right. So the sample comes up and there's a link up here. Beachbody On Demand programs, Lift More, start here. Referral program. At the end of that, I'm just going to do this. Referring rep. Can you see that at the top? I just add that to the very end and I copy that whole link. If I do that and then I, I go into my Canva, let's, uh, we'll go back to Canva. Guys, this is recorded if you need to go back to it or I'm here to ask questions. Then let's say I go back to my Canva and this is like, let's say I have a lift. Let's say I went, I went to lift more, but let's just assume that that was lift four sample workout. If I went in here and I did link and I changed it right here, I copy and put that link right here. That would then go to Beachbody On Demand to the Lift 4 sample. And if they click it, they'll, they, they're on my website. And if they create a free account, then they'll be my free customer, whether they buy anything or not. Does that make sense? Okay. So that's a cool little trick. Okay. So this tool is here. Any other questions about this tool? Like this uh, cool little or educational page, we'll call it. Okay, so that's a tool that's been created for you guys, which is awesome. I haven't been looking at the chat. Sorry, guys. Um, okay, Laura has a pro account and she loves it. You can make reels on there. Okay, that's cool. Awesome. So that's a tool that you guys can use. The other tool that I'm going to share with you guys, back to sharing the screen. We're going to go back to Safari. I'm going to go back to the Dynasty Strong team page. I better get rid of those house plans over there. That's a surprise. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, we're back on this link. Here's the other thing. This, because like, remember, I do want you to eventually create a blog to share your success stories of your coaches, transformations from your customers and your coaches. It's a great place to house those on Google. Um, but for now, a way to create, um, to, to collect emails is doing this. There's a Google Doc. There's a Google Doc form right here. So every one of you guys should have a Google account. So you click on that, and there's this document, a Lift More Interest form, and it pops up like this. You just click Make a Copy, and I've already made one, so now I'm going to have two copies. So I'll just delete this one later. This is what I did yesterday when I created mine. It just made this copy of Lift More Interest form. This this is cool. Okay. So what you guys can do here <clears throat> is I'll show you a couple of things here. Here's the main things you have to do. You don't even have to edit anything on this. If you don't want, if it looks perfect, like it is, I didn't really edit anything on here except for a couple of things. It just says, are you ready to crush this full body program? Eight weeks, da, da, da. Put your first name and last name, put your email what country you live in. Guys, all of this stuff is to help you create a share a cart for them. Put your phone number so that you can text them and be like, hey, I have your cart ready. 
Am I currently listed as your coach? I'm a customer. You are my coach. I'm a coach and you are my coach. I do not have a coach. I have a Beachbody coach, but it is not you. That's just so you understand when someone comes to this link, uh, if they have a coach and it's not you, then you know that that's not a prospect for you. Like you can move on from there. If they don't have a coach, you know that it's a wide open prospect for you. Uh, if it's one of your coach customers already, um, then you know they might have Beachbody on demand or whatever. So when you're creating their 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 cart for them, this just really helps you organize things to help um, on the launch. Laura, yes. Um, if they say I have a Beachbody coach, but it's not you, <clears throat> you get. Can you go back to them and say, are you, you know, is are you active? Or they say, is there a place to comment that says maybe I have a coach, but I have no idea who they are. They've never reached out well, to me. Well, here's the thing. What you could do right here is you can click on this. You can add an option. I have a coach, but I've never had contact with them or I've never heard from them. Right. You get you can create whatever um, answers you want, or you can edit any of these. Do you have Beachbody on demand? Um, and then to reach out to any of these people, Laura, you, the, you have, you'll have their phone number and you'll have their email address. Okay. Um, and then they, they put in here, which test group do you want to be a part of July 25th as a coach or preferred customer or August 8th. So this is already created, has all the packages here. Uh, just like that other one, there's a first thing package, a Shakeology package, energize and recover the glow and grow package and then they can click on it which package they want um if choosing a shakeology package which flavor do you want and it shows like in the us and canada it shows which ones are available where they don't want shakeology in their pack they can pick which flavor they want um if choosing glow and grow they get to pick if they want any add-ons like the resistance band hydrate i don't want to add anything on and it's easy as that, okay? Isn't that cool? Is this a cool little thing? So remember earlier when I was talking about you post the Instagram story, maybe you're using those images before, after picture, and then you can add a link. Well, you're gonna add a link to this, to this Google form, right? Because when they click on that link, it'll come here. They can fill out what they need to fill out on this. They'll fill out on this form. And then it's going to, and I'll show you how to do it next, responses. All these responses are going to go into a Google document for you. And so whether you have like an email collecting platform, like Janelle Summers talked about constant contact, there's like MailChimp, you don't even need any of those to do this. Because when they put their email and their number, their name, it's going to go into a, it's going to go into a um, form, into a Google form. And I'll show you how that works. So what you need to do next is edit this how you want. I'm going to share something uh, cool that you guys could do um, right here. So you can go add video, for example. I'm going to add a video. You can go get the YouTube video or the Vimeo video of the sample workout. So that sample workout could be housed right here at the top. So when, Laura, when someone says, yes, I'd love to try the sample, when you're having one-on-one -on -one conversations, you send them a link to this. Google document, they read about it, they try the sample, and then they fill out all this form, right? And then all, and then all of that info that they fill out will go into your Google, into the Google spreadsheet for you. So when you guys make your own, you can put that video in there. What I would do, honestly, is I'd put the, I wouldn't use the YouTube link, I would use the Vimeo link. So I'd, I'd hit add video, put that video right up here, go to the Team Beachbody Vimeo, get the link for the sample workout and then have them do that. So does that make sense what's going on? So there's two ways really somebody's gonna to get to this form. Number one, in your Instagram stories, as you're talking about, you know, maybe you just tried the sample and you're like, oh, I a sweaty selfie. I just tried the sample. It's a lifting program, so awesome. Uh, there's a link at the bottom. Feel free to click that link and try out the sample. That link will then go to this page right here where they can read about it, try the sample, fill out the form, okay? The other way that someone can get this is form. Uh, is you're having one-on-one -on -one conversations. This is what I did yesterday, all day during my follow-ups. I had about a hundred people I needed to follow up with for the week. I just did them all in like an hour and a half block. Everyone would be like, hey, what's going on, Michael? I wanted to check in with you. This is for current clients, my coaches, and also prospects. I'd be like, I hope you had a great week. How are your workouts? How was your nutrition? By the way, did you hear we have a new program coming out? Would you like to try the sample? 
Like every single person I chatted with was like, would you like to try the sample? Today, when I was responding to those people like, yeah, I'd try out the sample. I'm sending them the link to this so that they can watch, they can read this, watch the sample, and then hopefully they fill out that form, right? If they're interested, they're going to be like, oh, I'm interested in this. And then they'll go fill out the rest, right? If they don't, I'm going to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation anyway. I'll be like, how did you like that? Um, if they're interested in it, I'll be like, okay, make sure you go fill out that, that, that interest form on that link where that sample was. So I don't forget about you. So I have all the info I need when this program comes out. So you can be in that group with us, right? So that's really the two ways that I'm doing uh, to get people to this form and to fill this out. Okay. The next step, and remember, this is, uh, this is created as a copy for you. Like it's, it's yours. Any edits you make, only you see. It's on your Google Drive now. Um, the next thing that you need to make sure that you do is go at the top. It says questions. You can add any questions you want as well. Um, like you could add a question right here. Email address, right? It's already there, but you can add anything you want. And then they put short answer, right? So I'm going to delete that one because I already have that on there right here, email. So you can add any questions. You can take away any questions that don't feel right for you, whatever, right? Next, um, but I would put that um, sample workout in there. Next is responses. Click on responses, right? This is where you can see the responses. If you want to check in and see if anybody responded, I don't have any responses because I just barely made this when I created the copy on this team call. So I've never sent this link to anybody. Okay, but what you do here is you come over to these three dots, you click on it. I, I do this, get email notifications. So I will get emails to the email that logs into my Google Drive for this Google Drive account. So I clicked on that. So I'm gonna get an email notification anytime someone fills out that form. Like every day, uh, part of my daily bet is to answer all my Facebook, Instagram, and emails. So I'm gonna see every day if someone fills that out. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to select response destination. I'm going to do it. I'll just have to go delete it later because I already have one, but I'm going to click on this and I'm going to have, I could cl click a, an existing spreadsheet. If you already have one, if you do this multiple times, like for fire and flow, and then you do it for lift more, um, I'm going to do create new spreadsheet. This is going to be just so I remember to delete it. <laughs> Team call sample. And I do create. So what happens is when somebody clicks through these questions, it's going to put all of those answers in my in that Google spreadsheet that you created by by clicking that button and creating a new spreadsheet. Okay. Next, you can go to settings. Um, you don't need to change any of these things right now. You don't need it to be a presentation. You can um, manage how responses are collected. Um, we can click on collect email addresses send responders a copy. Like if you want them to know like, hey, we got your responses, like you could hit always and it will send a, a notification to them like, hey, we got your response um, and so forth. So you can edit that stuff. You don't really need to edit anything different there. So once you've done those things, you edited this form to how you want it, added the video, whatever you need. Uh, you created the response destination. So you collect the email or you get an email that they filled it out and it goes to the spreadsheet. Um, once you've done that, then um, what you can do is you go up here to send. And I mean, if you already have emails, you wanna send this to someone via email, you can send it to them directly from here. Um, what I do is just get this link right here, shorten URL, and then copy that URL. And then you guys can see right here, um, stop share. I have a little, this is how I do it. I use notes a lot. We'll go to my notes. You can see right here, I have a lift more. I have an interest. There's my Google interest form right there. So that when I'm creating a story and I click that link option, I just go into my notes as I'm creating that story, click link, copy that link, put it in there. And then that links in that story. Or if I'm answering, answering Instagram messages, I go into my notes, copy that form send that link over to Michael and be like, here's the sample workout. Uh, if you love the sample workout, make sure to fill out the form. I'm looking forward to hearing back from you, right? So I use uh, notes a lot to, once I create that link to put it in there just like that. So back to this real quick, I'm gonna show you just a couple other things you can do on here and then we're gonna close this out. Um, 
if you want to change the look of this, if if like you have a brand color or you want any, you want to change this image, like you can change any of that stuff. You can customize the theme color. Um, you know, so it's like this color right here is dark green now. You can make it gray. Uh, you can do a background color. Like you can change anything. You can change any of the fonts. Uh, you can change the header uh, image right here. Um, you can change basically anything over there. So I want to make sure that you are aware of that. Um, this is what it looks, you can hit preview, see what it looks like when your people um, click on that link. It's going to look like that. Um, at the bottom, they hit submit and so forth. So that's basically it. Um, I'm going to close that out and then take any questions. Do you guys know you could do that with Google Drive or, or for this? Okay. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm going to log into my Google Drive and show you how I use, have used this for a long time. Um, did you create that yourself or did it was, was it was done? created by somebody else it's so nice when it's done by someone else <laughs> yeah, yeah i don't know if, okay can you guys see my screen right now oh no no i'm just going to show you real quick uh yeah i'll show you okay no, I better not. I was going to show you what the, the form, like what the docu the spreadsheet looks like, but it does have a list of emails and phone numbers. So I'm not going to show that because this will be on YouTube. But yeah, once you, once you, um, yeah, let me exit out. Of that. I was going to show you, but we'll protect their privacy. So yeah, once they fill that out, it just comes into that Google spreadsheet. I get an email that says, you know, so-and-so filled out your, your form, you can click on it, see all their answers, or you can just log right into that form and look at the responses. There's that response tab, or you can just go into your Google drive, uh, that form, the response form, however you name it, when you create it will be there. And you can see Michael Nixon name number, and then all of the responses that they gave. And the cool thing about that is then when, um, the launch comes, you can go find all the ones that want to be a preferred customer or coach. You have their email, you have what flavor they want, you have everything you need and ready. So you can just go and create and do all the work now up until launch and then create those share cards on the launch day. Cool. All right. Does that help you guys out? Any other questions before we close out? Okay. So that's, that's, uh, I know I talked about other things before. Um, basically the same concept happens when you make a blog. Um, I'll just show you guys like what I did on my blog as well. But this, remember, this is not needed. Uh, so the I blog, pulled... the blog you can get for free. And is that you just populate that the blog? Do you have to pay? Do you have to have a URL, a domain yeah. name and all of that before so, you launch the yeah. blog? No. So there's free blogging websites. Like even WordPress has some free stuff. Where, but the only thing is your your URL will be like www.wordpress.com slash Laura Paleo's health and fitness. Whereas if you start to get into the paying aspect of it, where you pay for a domain name and whatnot, then it would be, you could change it to like www.laurapaleo.com and, and cut out the wordpress.com or blogspress, blogspot.com forward slash laurapaleo.com, right? So um, like this is what mine looks like. Uh, I'll show you how I did. Um, so I did, I created uh, this blog right here yesterday. You can see June 27th, lift more sample workout. We um, can't see. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I will get that for you. Thank you. So this is what my blog looks like. You know, I have like links, access, beach body, sign up in USA, um, free coach, become a coach. Like I have different links, but I created um, a lift more sample workout. So I'm gonna go to the homepage, show you that again. Lift more sample workout, for example. Uh, someone, it could, I have the same, same concept, right? I have the sample workout at the top. I have a little info about it. I have apply to join the next test group. That link goes to that Google form that we just created. Does that make sense? So when I made this blog post, I just made up that link that will go, the sample workouts there again, and then they can put their e name, email, and so forth, right? So it's basically the same thing. I put all these images, testimonial images in there from the team page. 
and it's just super simple, right? Not, not a complex blog post. Um, but I want, to, I want you to know the mindset of why I use a blog as well. There's going to be people out there, might not have a coach, might be former coaches, might have never heard of Beachbody, might have heard like there's some new at-home lifting program that there's a sample and they might go to Google, lift more sample workout. So I created that blog post in hopes of capturing some leads uh, just like we do when we create reels on Instagram, when we create Facebook posts, we hope to find new people and connect with new people. I do the, a blog as well. So um, <clears throat> that's why I create a blog. But the blog is basically the same concept that I taught you. But it also all funnels back to that Google form and being able to collect uh, their info, what they need, let them try the sample workout and get that um, that. Um, to get their info collected on what they're interested in. Okay, awesome. Any other questions for today? Okay, I think we're good. I have to. I have to say, like, <laughs> had nothing to do with the team call. Like, I see Matthew's profile picture there, and then I see Raven's. Raven, you did yours so good that it looks like you're actually sitting there listening, but you're like you're just dead still. So <laughs> that's that's super <laughs> awesome. Anyhow. <laughs> Uh, I love you guys. I'm glad you guys could be on this call with us live. If you have coaches um, on the team that are not, uh, that weren't able to make it, this, this will be up on YouTube. Um, I'll also put it in the team page. And then remember that Google form, those links that I showed you for that Canva and also the Google Drive um, form are in the team page already. So you can find them there. I'll also take those links and put them in the description of this video. So when someone watches this video, they can click it and use the tools directly from that training as well. So Awesome. We'll see you guys later and uh, let's go out and crush it this week. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Yep. See you. Thank you. Later. This was great. Yes. Let's go out and do it. Thank you so much. This is awesome. Yeah. You're welcome, Michael. See you, Raven. See you, man. Bye. Good to see you, Michael. Aloha. Good to see you too. Yeah.